Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're going to see which vintage board games are selling on eBay for $100 and up. I found 40 items sold in the last 90 days on eBay, and this list is very interesting. Maybe you've seen or played some of these games before. Let's get started. Our first game is Lost in Space from 1965. This sold for $200 and $13 shipping. Here's a close up of the board. This is from the classic TV series Lost in Space. Next is a vintage 1980s Murder She Wrote board game. This sold for $150, $17.99 shipping. Here's a close up of the board. Cover features Angela Lansbury. Next, we have a vintage 1969 group therapy board game. This sold for $275, $774 shipping. So we have therapist cards, game pieces, and here's a close-up of the board. I would love to know how this is played. Up next we have the Buffalo, New York Blizzard of 77 travel game. So I have heard stories of this blizzard because my family is from New England. This sold at auction for $142 and $5 shipping. So let's take a better look at the board. So definitely groceries and gas on this one. Those are very important. This is a vintage talking football game from 1971. This is Mattel. This sold for $150, $30 shipping. You can see all the pieces and the board is a football field. There's a little goal post. Next we have the Civilization game. This sold for $114 free shipping. Here's a look at the board. It says unpunched. I believe that means it practically hasn't been used. Now we have Hogan's Heroes. This sold for $250, $16.30 shipping. So this is from a television series. This is from 1966. Let's take a look. All the pieces seem like they're in decent condition. Here's a look at the board. This is Ambush Purple Heart Module Victory Games from 1985. This sold for $100, $17.50 shipping. So this is a World War II themed game. And we can see some of the pieces in the board. It's a war strategy game. Up next we have a 90s board game. This is from Milton Bradley. This is the Mall Madness game. It sold for $200 and $30 shipping. And I guess there's a voice box. So there are several pieces to this game. This is Witch Witch board game from 1970, Milton Bradley. This sold for $100, $16.75 shipping. So here's a close up of the board. And a lot of little pieces. And all the cards. This is Nancy Drew Mystery Board Game from 1959. This is Parker Brothers. This sold for $105, $12 shipping. Let's take a closer look at the board. We've got different locations. And there's mystery cards. This is a Franklin Mint Monopoly Deluxe Wood Board Game. This board is beautiful. This sold for $199 and $87.75 shipping. So you can see in the front here, there's a draw. And if you pull it open, it stores all of the money and all of the pieces. It has a holder for the cards. And you can see all of the pieces are gold. This is a really nice set. This is American Heritage Broadside. This is a naval battle game by Milton Bradley in 1962. This sold for $120 and 831 shipping. Here's a close up of the board. And you have several different ships. Next, we have a Sinking of the Titanic board game. This is from 1976. It sold for $132, $12.20 shipping. So we can see the Titanic ship and the water with some islands. There's several cards and many characters. Here's another 90s vintage board game. So this one's called the Dream Phone board game. 
and it actually has a battery operated phone. This sold at auction for $115, $15 shipping. I'm pretty sure as a kid I probably saw the commercial for this. I was probably like 12 years old when this came out. Here's a close up of the board. So these are all potential dates. Some of the cards with their phone numbers. <laughs> And here's the phone that it comes with. Here's another TV show themed board game. This is Gilligan's Island, which I'm sure most people have heard of. This is from 1965. It sold for $250 and $12.62 shipping. You can see on the front there, you can see the characters from the show. And there's the board and many of the pieces. And this one's from for Dracula. This is Hasbro. This sold for $149, $22.45 shipping. And we can see the spinners and some of the characters. Here's the board. This next game is an antique. It sold at auction for $137 and $12.45 shipping. This is the Cinderella board game from Milton Bradley. This was produced in Springfield, Massachusetts. Here's a close up of the board on the inside. This is so interesting. It has two start points that lead to the center. Here's a close up of the directions. Obviously the game is to see which player is Cinderella and marries the prince. The one who spins first starts the game. That's so neat. And here are some of the places you can land. It says go back to number one. And this is if the shoe fits. This is from the TV show, The Twilight Zone. So this board game is from 1964. This sold at auction for $102, $15 shipping. This is a sci-fi themed TV show. Here's the board. And some of the cards with the doors. I found another antique board game. This one says 1890. This is the Santa Claus game by Parker Brothers. And it's from Salem, Massachusetts. This sold at auction for $289, $10.55 shipping. Here's a close up. Another very old game. This is so interesting. I've never seen games like these. The artwork is great. This is from the Munsters TV show. This one's the Drag Race game. This sold at auction for $530 and $15 shipping. This is from 1965. You can see Herman Munster in his car. Here's the spinner. And here's a close up of the board. It's just one circle. Really nice artwork. Our next game is based off the book The Hobbit. This is from 1978. This is another Milton Bradley. It sold for $148 and $10 shipping. Let's take a look. Here are the game pieces for the characters. A lot of different mythical creatures from the story. You can see trolls. You see Gollum there. You see Gandalf. Now we have the original version of Candyland from Milton Bradley. This is from 1949. This sold for $199 and $15 shipping. I've done, uh, most people have played, many people have played this game. I've actually played the modern version of it. it. Looks very different. I like it. I found this very unusual game called Weirdos board game. This is from the 1960s. It sold for $100 and $13 shipping. And these monster looking creatures all in different vehicles here's a close-up of the board it's a windy racetrack and here's some of the pieces and cards with a spinner here we have another monopoly game this one is a vintage world war ii era board game this is from 1935 it sold for 117 dollars 1450 shipping and take a look at the inside you can see the money and the cards the houses are made of wood you can see all the player pieces. And this was made in Salem Mass. It does have damage on the outside, which is something that board game collectors do care about. So if you do list a vintage board game, please be sure to include photos of any damage to the box inside and out and try not to make more damage by putting any kind of tape on the box. I also wanted to include some pieces of board games. So this is the backgammon board. The reason I believe this one is special is because it's a folk art themed and it's more of wall decor. This sold for $170 and $18 shipping and you can see that it has worn paint. 
it's been it's been nailed so it has a ha wire hanger and this one says G Miller as the artist on the back when I was checking out board games I also noticed that a lot of backgammon pieces were selling for high prices as well so these are called Bakelite Chris Lloyd pieces for backgammon um, they are beautiful this set sold for $230, $11.45 shipping. And you can see they are well-made pieces, almost like marble. So keep an eye out for those as well. I also noticed these solitaire marble games. This is gorgeous. It says a Bombay wooden solitaire game from 1994. It sold for $150, $13 shipping. It comes in a box with a set of polished stones. Next we have another antique board game. This is from The Wizard of Oz, Parker Brothers. This sold for $108, $22 shipping. I also want to let you know that even if you're missing pieces, these games can be valuable. This is actually just the box with some pieces of the game, but no board. You can see here you have the box, the bottom and top, and you have some of the pieces, but that is about it. It does not actually have the board with it and this sold for over $100 with missing pieces. Up next is Spider-Man. This is from 1977. This says Unpunt and it sold for $115, $20 shipping. Let's take a look at this board. Very nice colors, great graphics. So the pieces haven't been punched out, so I guess that's what it means. Basically, the board game hasn't been assembled yet. We have another board game from a TV show. This is from Land of the Giants. This is this sold for $220 and $14.50 shipping. Here's a close-up of a board. And several different pieces, all cut out cardboard. And with all the stands. Next we have Get Smart from NBC. This is from 1965. This is from the Ideal Company. This sold at auction for $156, $15 shipping. And here's the board. Oh, and we have little figurines. These are really nice. Next we have The Outer Limits. This is from 1964. This sold at auction for $164 and $15 shipping. Here's a look at the board. And some of the cards. This is the Time Tunnel from ABC, and this is from 1966, also sold at auction. This sold for $132 and $15 shipping. Here's a closer look. Oh, so we have prehistoric time, we have World War II, here's some of the pieces, and some of the cards, with the spinner. Next we have a board game from the cartoon Scooby-Doo. This is from 1973, made by Milton Bradley. This sold for $100 and $11.45 shipping. Here's the board. This one looks really fun. And here's some of the cards and the pieces. This next game is called Dungeon. This is a fantasy Dungeon and Dragon style board game. This is from 1981. It sold for $125, $11 shipping. Let's take a look. This is very intricate. There's a lot of paths on this one. And here are a bunch of the cards. We have monsters and treasure. Now we have a 1987 Milton Bradley game called Hotels. So this is a real estate game. This sold for $175, $11.35 shipping. This is really interesting. It has 3D buildings. That's very impressive. And you can see you start with cars. You go around the path. And it looks like you buy and build your properties. Next we have another antique game. This is from 1936. This is the Wilder Baseball Game. This sold for $255, $11.45 shipping. This was made in USA. You can see the scoreboard here. There's a little baseball bat. Oh my goodness, that's neat. And here's the field. So you have all the players standing at different positions. And wow, these pieces are amazing. Those look like they're made of metal. They're not plastic. Next we have Dune. This is from 1979. This is a sci-fi themed board game. And this sold for $129, $8.78 shipping. Here's the board. So it's like a giant, it's like a map. And there's some game pieces here. We're moving, sliding things. There's numbers. 
There are also some cards with different characters. Lots of little pieces. This one's incredible that they kept all of this together. Our last game is from 1979. This is John Carter, Warlord of Mars. This sold for $150 and $14.50 shipping. The artwork is very detailed. And they didn't take a full picture of the board. This is really interesting. It looks very involved. There's some charts and tables here. It's kind of like a turn attack game. This is really different. As always, we hope this information was useful to you. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know which item categories you'd like us to research in future videos. Thank you for watching.